I sometimes make videos that I know full well might get me demonetized on YouTube. Case in point, my top two videos. However, for whatever reason, whenever I play Overwatch, there's always someone that is telling me to add an Overwatch character oiled up. Now this on its own, I don't think is strong enough for a video idea. Actually, I just thought of something really funny. What if we did one freaky change for every Overwatch hero? You guys would have to comment ideas for that one. But instead, I had an idea. The upcoming Hero 42 may be called a freak. Obviously, we don't know that since in the playtest, their name was between Sigma and Winston. So unless their name is the freak, starting with a T, there is a big chance they're going to have a different name. So I decided to make a Hero 42 prediction video. However, the whole concept is based off the word freak and all his abilities are a little bit freaky so let's get started but as always here's the code on screen if you want to try it and i did purposely leave some bugs in it but hopefully this won't affect gameplay too much starting off we're going to start with the sense of humor passive when an enemy comes within 15 meters of you they will be revealed for three seconds this will have a cooldown of 15 seconds per person since freak is a funny little guy in our version he just has that sense of humor and since sensing is like tracking someone that's why his passive is tracking people for three seconds once they come within range of freak getting the jump on people is very important because his primary fire is a short range like flamethrower can of chaos is supposed to be like a spray can with a lighter up to it you know just like how us silly little guys like to do arson so does freak we love arson s tier crime regardless freak will quickly mow down other heroes due to his joy of loving arson however sometimes it's just a little bit hard to get close to people so to deal with long range characters he has the goofball grenade when you press your ability one, you will throw a grenade that spreads silliness to the victim. Silliness is a status effect that freak can spread to people. And when you are silly, then you get meleeed by someone. You will instead be tickled. When you are tickled, you will fall to the ground for two seconds. This doesn't just work for freak, but instead other heroes on his team also. So if you goofball grenade an enemy and then your tracer melees them, they will be tickled by tracer. A dream for some people. However, you might have noticed that I skipped over the secondary fire and that is because the secondary is called peekaboo. Whenever you use your goofball grenade and you silly someone, peekaboo will be enabled and you can teleport to a random victim that is sillied. This really helps closing the gap on your victims and you can also melee them to guarantee that you get that kill. Just to have an added effect of gambling, you will sometimes fall through the map. This is actually a bug, but I don't care. <laughs> Let's go gambling! Oh, dang it. If you actually do it fast enough, you can use Peekaboo twice during the time. Peekaboo actually only has a 6 second cooldown, and silliness lasts for 10 seconds, so you can actually use your teleport twice within one silliness. However, Freak just doesn't have enough survivability. So, his ability too is called the Manslaughter Mobile. It's a dangerous vehicle that can ram into enemies and also heal and protect you. You gain a speed boost, damage reduction, a small heal, and anyone you run over will take damage over time. If you want to be really quirky, you can use the goofball grenade to silly someone, teleport to them with peekaboo, and then immediately pop the manslaughter mobile to grind them down with your car. Since I love getting hit by traffic, I, I, I freaking, why did I say that? However, we all know the reason that you guys are here, the ultimate. The ultimate is called oil up. When you use oil up, you'll oil yourself up and glide throughout the battlefield. During this time, your abilities are disabled. However, when you melee someone, you will pour oil on them. This will mess with their sensitivity, but most importantly, this will charge your bust. After the eight second duration of your ultimate, you will bust and you will do damage based on how many people you oiled up. If you get four people or more, this will kill most squishies because it does 75 damage times the amount of people you oil up. Unfortunately, since outlines are still broken over a year, by the way, ever since that TF2 video I made, that's when it got broken. That was the that was the time I noticed it was broken. They still haven't fixed it. Please, God, fix that. I want to show people oiled up visually, please. But what I was trying to say with this is that this ultimate secretly makes it so everyone in Overwatch technically can get oiled up since Freak can oil up any character. You can also bust on every character, which I didn't really think about when I made this. Actually, what am I saying? Of course, I named it bust because it's funny. <laughs> like, I didn't really think of the ramifications of saying I'm busting on Widowmaker after <laughs> oiling her up. Anyways, we actually playtested Freak, and I think he actually needs a small buff. Obviously, we don't know if Hero 42 is even going to be called Freak. We don't know what his abilities are. I am going to be 
absolutely shocked if any of these are right somehow. I mean, there's no way oil up is going to be his ultimate, but I would love it. Um, If you want to oil me up and bust on me, you can join my Twitch streams by following me on Twitch. We sometimes do playtest. Actually, that's exactly what we did literally today. I had a lot of people bust on me today. As a matter of fact, I watched three people get bust on at once. So, I mean, this ultimate works. It was very fun to play and I loved busting on people. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this little silly video. And when Hero 42 actually comes out and we actually know their abilities, I think this time around I'm going to remake them so you can play them early, kinda, you know. Obviously remaking a character is not the same as literally playing them. However, before you go, I actually forgot. I have a poll where you can vote on your favorite hero to play as. I'm not sure if this is going to be next video or not, but we have about like 500 responses and I just want more. So please go vote in that poll, your favorite heroes to play as if you have not already. And I guess comment your favorite freaky Overwatch hero ideas because I could always do freak watch and I feel like that would be very funny. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed like and subscribe and I'm going to go get oiled up now.